Hi everybody. Today we're going to show you about my leveling blocks that I made for the previous camper and they still work pretty good for this lightweight camper I've got. So let's get in there and see how I built these. Like the first thing I need to do is drag my table saw and my two by fours out where I can use them. Too packed up in the garage. Here's an older one that I've done before, and you see, you can got the string here cut, three planks on the top, four plank, and I use that uh, plastic stuff stapled it on the bottom to keep it from be sitting directly on the ground this works pretty good this works pretty good for a lightweight camper and they're very light so i wouldn't recommend them on a, a big heavy fifth wheel but they're really good for a light rv from a two by four i cut four planks 10 inches and 5 eighths and three planks 12 inches to make one block had 20 deck screws and about some rope this is where i have a trust issue with school rulers look at it real close i was trying to drill holes about three quarters into the plank pre-drill and uh doing on the end of each of the 10 and 5 8 planks and then on both ends of the 12 inch planks and I drilled the hose screws I used were number 10 two and a half inch long taking the uh, 10 and 5 8 planks with the pre-drilled hose putting some screws in the end to pre-start them you take the screw in and drill it in to the opposite end of the other plank and just keep going around until you make a square until you get the whole square made now you take the 12 inch planks you put one right at the end of it and, and screw it in and then the second plank you try to put it right in the center leaving some gap between and drill it in there and then you take the third plank and put it at the opposite end and drill it in there till you get the whole top covered now i'm going to cut the rope to about 24 inches for each box and then i'm going to set the box up on the end and i'm going to come over three inches from each side but two and a half inches up from the bottom and pre-drill holes to get the rope into it I used a drill bit just a little bit bigger than the diameter of the rope and then I set the fed this rope down both sides evenly and then I tied it as tight as I could inside of the box so the knot would be inside of the box uh, depends on how good your tying is you might have to make your rope a bit longer if you need more knots on it and then uh, then I test and pull picking up the box to make sure it would hold after finishing the first box I went ahead and made five more of them when I got done with all five of them I went out to the first camper when I first made them and tested it out under the camper in the yard this is where I got worried about the wood laying in the grass and everything. So I went back in the garage and I was thinking about going and buying some type of plastic or something to go on the bottom. And I found this old box I was about ready to throw away of uh, flex trim vinyl wall basin. So I just cut it up and stapled it to the bottom of each of the boxes that I had just made to give it a, a little rubber stuff that be touching the ground to keep uh, to make the box last longer while it's on ground from the weather 
like I said, these are very good for a light RV. Wouldn't recommend them for a great big fifth wheel or anything. And they're easy to carry. Even the wife can pick them up with one hand and carry them around. And they support this pretty good. I got a lightweight RV, fifth wheel. I originally made them for a travel trailer that I had. And I just keep on using them. And it's a very simple step to make them. And you cross the planks to give it more support. And then I painted them. They had some, they were bright yellow. And, and the next time I painted them bright orange. Just so they'd stick out. I knew they were mine. But uh, thank you for watching.